But that should not dictate the full range of cooperation between us on energy and climate change. We could do so much more. Looking across North America at our electric grids, you know, we have coal-fired plants in the United States that went online when Franklin Roosevelt was president. That can't possibly be smart. And with the pre what President Obama did with the EPA rules to begin to uh, try to lower greenhouse gas emissions, primarily from burning coal, uh, is an important step that shouldn't be seen in isolation. Uh, it should be seen as part of a broader energy strategy. Of course we're going to continue using fossil fuels, but I think we should set the global example for transitioning in some more orderly way away from fossil fuels. And given the innovation, given the research capacity, given the experiences on both sides of our border, we're in a perfect position to do that. Uh, so I think that this is a, a Keystone is a contentious issue, and, and of course it is important on both sides of the border for different and sometimes opposing reasons, but that is not our relationship. And I think our relationship would get deeper and stronger and put us in a position to really be global leaders in energy and climate change uh, if we worked more closely together. And that's what I would like to see us do. So I'm going to close off with a... Uh... Close off with another personal question.